he spends a great deal of time in his writing, especially in the Bales of Tales, talking about three brain beings, the three brain beings of the planet Earth, or um, work on being, having these three gigantically essential aspects uh, with many, many methods. And, and he, he tries to approach this from uh, through image, through metaphor, through stories, and so forth, from as many different directions as he possibly can, uh, uh, I think, because uh, one particular metaphorical approach may help a certain number of people, uh, but it won't help other people. They won't get it. Uh, so he'll tell another story from a, a, a different approach and another story. And so uh, over time, try to uh, provide as many ways in which to approach types, different types of people, uh, to, to create opportunities for them to see or in, at least in that moment, grasp the essence of what he's trying to get at, get at so far as waking up is concerned. Uh, uh, and, and nothing works forever, you know, because, as you point out, uh, it becomes a habit. And, uh, and then uh, even the best of methods, uh, uh, which he used in, in some of his early groups, he would say, well, work with this for a week, you know, that every time that this happens, make appointments with yourself. Uh, I, there's all manner of things that you can, you could invent all things for yourself. Uh, in the same way, uh, and and they work for a while, you know, and then they become habituated, or we forget, or whatever, and then we're back asleep again. So, the the aim of of these kinds of approaches is not to wake us up in any permanent sense, but to to give us tastes, uh, experiences that sometimes are more than other other experiences sometimes because they have to do with one or another aspect of the three brains, uh, they give us experiences with respect to those. And that's where, for instance, for me, uh, the movements in sacred dances are, are one of those remarkable circumstances where all three brains can be touched. And for a certain, you can't really say period of time because it's not a time kind of thing, uh, but there can be experiences of that state where all three parts are, are expressing in this resonant fashion some aspect of law. And that's a, just an enormously powerful experience uh, that we then can carry. It doesn't have to be a singular experience that you say, I had this experience there and blah, blah, blah. No, no, it, it is a helpmate because then you can go back into your daily life. You can go back into taking care of your children's or uh, your children or going to work or, or painting the wall or repairing the plumbing or whatever it is that comes down the pike. And there is some aspect to that attentiveness, to that direction of attention, to awareness, to efforts to self-remember and so forth, that, that can be brought into that other experience. So this begins to dimensionalize inside of our life. So it's not, it's not, I am going to go to church now. You know, I am not going to go for my spiritual experience. No, Gurdjieff was forever, you know, emphasizing how essential it is to to uh, to bring this uh, into your life, such that your level of being uh, becomes more and more coalesced and and more and more three-brained, uh, so that a one, a true will, can appear. So then you can do. And, and Gurdjieff made much in, in when he talked about, about this, and almost everybody remembers that if you read Ospensky or anything else, uh, because it's such an insult. You know, when he comes along and says, man cannot do, cannot do anything. But then you have to really ask yourself, what does he mean? What does he mean by doing? And, and then it, it becomes a, a much more interesting kind of pursuit. Um, 